What do you know about cortisol? And cortisol is often demonized as a hormone of stress. And while it is released during the stress response, its main job in the body is actually to mobilize sugar for your body. So in the fight or flight mechanism, when we're under threat, it would mobilize both glycogen, which is a stored form of sugar in the liver, or cause glyconeogenesis in the liver. Either way, cortisol is there to help get us energy to our muscles so that we can, it motivates us to either run away or another avenue here is that when we're hungry, okay, so when we're hungry, that is actually a state of the liver. We talked about the fed state and then there's the starved state, the hungry state where we haven't eaten for a little while. Blood glucose is dropping because we haven't eaten. Maybe we're fasting. We're trying to get into that keto zone. But what that does is it triggers an axis in the brain, which sends a signal down to the adrenals that sit right there on the top of the kidney, and those release cortisol, which again, stimulates the liver to start that process of either releasing glycogen or making sugar from proteins and amino acids. Anytime you hear something being unilaterally called bad, you should start asking questions. And just a fun fact that cortisol is also known as cortisone, the shots that they put into joints to help with inflammation, and also hydrocortisone, the stuff you use topically to stop itching because it is an, inf an inflammation reducer. All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you have questions.